gentlemen, this is Carl Phillips again, out at the Wilmot Farm, Grover's Mill, New Jersey. Professor Pearson and myself made the 11 miles from Princeton in 10 minutes. Well, I hardly know where to begin. Paint for you a word picture of a strange scene before my eyes, but something out of a modern Arabian night. Well, I just got here. I hadn't had a chance to look around yet. I guess that's it. Yes, I guess that's the thing directly in front of me. Half buried in a vast pit. What the fuck is terrific for? The ground is covered with a little tree and the truck on its way down. But I can see the object itself doesn't look very much like a meteor. At least not the meteor. It looks more like a huge cylinder. Has a diameter of, uh, uh, what would you say, Professor Pearson? What's that? Uh, what would you say, uh, what's the diameter of this? About 30 yards. About 30 yards. The metal on the sheath is, well, I've never seen anything like it. The color is sort of yellowish white. Spectators now are pressing close to the object and slightly up the back, uh, getting in front of my line of paper. Uh, would you mind standing one side, please? While the first, uh, pushing the crowd back. Here's Mr. Wilmot, owner of the farm here. He may have come to Mr. Wilmot, uh, would you please tell the radio audience as much as you remember of this rather unusual visitor that dropped in your backyard? Uh, step closer, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Wilmot. I was listening to the radio. Closer and louder, please. Pardon me? Uh, louder. Yes, sir. I was listening to the radio and kind of drowsy. That professor fellow was talking about Mars. So I was half done. Half yes, yes, this is what I said. Then what happened? Well, as I was saying, I was listening to the radio, kind of halfway. Yes, this is what And then you saw it. Not first saw it. I heard something. And what did you hear? A uh, hissing sound like this. Uh, kind of like a 4th of July rock. And then what? Thank you, Mr. Wilmot. Thank you very much. Yeah, you want me to tell No, that's quite all right. That's plenty. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just heard Mr. Wilmot, owner of the farm, where this thing has fallen. <laughs>